This is Karthika A, Computer Science Department, Saurabhya Gurukul Schools. After a long gap, we are coming back to the classroom and the subject rates. Today, we are going to discuss about uh, what is the advantages of computer science and also before going to the topic, I used to explain what is the importance of computer science to and what are the marks allotted and what are the things you are going to read in the academic year. Because of uh, we have to know the computer science basics, what is the computer science and what are the things we are going to read for the future one year. So in our last standard, we are having two topics. One is computer science group with the maths and another one is computer applications with the accountancy. Okay. So in computer science, why we are going to take a computer science group? Because of today's life, in all over the world, without computer, nothing can be done. So that for all field, computers are control all the field. The entire world is comes under the single control of a computer system. So in future and now we are also using for everything. For everything we are using computers. So in future also we are going to use. So learn about computers and the development of computers, how to innovate your new applications. And in future, what are the things you are going to implement? For that, in every aspect, computers are going to help you. In all industries, nowadays, mechanical, electrical, instrumentation, and aeronautical, like all the fields, all the industries are mainly focused or with the control of a computerized system. Okay. Previous last five or ten years back, if you want to deposit an amount of a, to a particular account, what will happen? You have to go to the bank, you have to deposit into a particular account. After that, you have to give the check or through check only we can pass it. It will take maximum of a five to ten days time to change the money from one account to another account. Another account like I mentioned here is a, it's a next account within a state in other district or other places. But now, how many of them going to the bank for depositing a money or transferring the amount to a particular account so that I am going to bank like that? We are not even using a, one percentage of people is not using a bank for transferring money or depositing a money to other other accounts because of everything is comes a computerized so that simply we can stay back in our home and simply sit your on top of a computer and just open the net banking. We are transferring the money so that like this in all industries. Computers are occupying the manual work. So, what is the special reason for choosing a computer? What are the advantages of computers to part in a life? So, first one is why I used to choose computers? Because of its lightning speed of process. So, first advantage is speed. Why I am going with it? Computers. Computer speed is the main reason for attracting the people for accessing the data. Second thing is when it is executing the data or executing the some other process, whatever it may be, it works very fast and it produces accurate results. Second thing is accuracy. Use accurate results. Sir, the computer is a paper, sir. Computer is an electronic device. It is capable of doing the work. What we assign, what we are giving the instruction to do, how to do. We are only designed what they have to do. Like that, we have to give the instruction to the computers. Based on the instruction, 
it will give the result. Okay. If we give the instruction in the correct manner, the output will be produced by computer is also a correct one. Same thing is after finding the output, I used to store for a long time. I used to store the data for long time, the storage. The third thing is storage. Storing a data in a computer for a long time. Then after that, nowadays the main thing is mainly we are using for online processing. Online process. What are you doing? Is something there? Online. What is it? Online through the help of internet. We are doing all the works in a in a home. Are you using a smartphone or? Laptop or PCs, okay, through the help of internet. Here, speed, accuracy, storage. This is the key importance. Apart from that, we are having multitasking. The term multitasking is also a important one. What is this multitasking? At that time, the computer can perform more than one work. The computer can work more than one application at a time and it produces a result simultaneously. So, how do you do that? 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 It will produce the output for all the particular application. If you want to keep on the other part of it, there's a lot of security. If you want to keep on the other part of it, that's without permission of the user. They cannot access the data of a computer or inside a computer. So these are the things which makes the world full of computer. The first thing is speed, accuracy and then huge storage, multitasking, data security, online process for online education, online banking, okay, some other online research activities also we can perform using a computer with the help of what? Internet. Then, if you want to share some message to one place to another place, I want to change my data or some other things we have to change or to share for that computer is used. So it is a very flexible one for accessing a computer is very flexible. So it is all the things which is having an advantage of computers. Then what is a computer? Sir, so, you know the advantage. What is computer? Yes, a child can tell the answer. Computer is nothing but an electronic machine. I am also going to say the same definition only. Because I cannot change the definition of computer. It is a machine, just a machine with the electronic parts. Okay. So what is its purpose? When we are giving the input, when we are giving an input to the computer and we have to give the Instruction to do the process. Process is nothing but the thing which is going to change as the output. Okay. Whatever input you are giving, that input is going to do according to our instruction and it will produce the output which is expected by the user. Input also designed by the user. What type of processing or what is going to be done? That is also fixed by a user. What is the output? That is also expected by the user. Okay. This is the basic thing. These are the concepts or how the computers are, why we are going to use. What is the purpose to use that? Computer. This is the 
basic thing about a computer. Okay. Now we just go to a subject. That means for in future, what are the subject we have in non standard and what is the mark allotment and what is that uh, question that time? So then we can uh, get the clear idea about the non standard. For computer science paper, we are having two volumes. The book is having two volumes. That uh, first volume book we have packages. Packages is nothing but a uh, basic things of uh, that means operating system. Windows operating system, you know it. What is the operating system? Operating system is nothing but a this is the executable segments or that is the interface between the user and the machine that is known as operating system. So that OS we are going to know about parts of a computer. We have to know more. What are the input devices? What are the output devices? What are the storages we are using? How it will be executed? And the importance of OS operating system. Inside the operating system, we are going to know about Windows and Linux. Okay. After that, problem solving techniques. That means the algorithm basis. Problem solving techniques also comes like that. First volume. In your second volume, this all comes in the first volume. Plus one, first volume. Parts of the computer. Then what are the things? Operating system, networking, architecture of the computer. Okay. So we are having a basic ideas about the computer. And also early history of computers. After that, there are windows. Nowadays we are working in windows. Okay. So that windows operating system. Linux operating system, what are the mobile operating system? The normal part you told me now. Yes, what is the mobile operating system you are using? Uh, so my smartphone, Android. Now it is come 10 now. Yes, Android. 10 and 11 is 10 by 1, I think so. Then problem solving techniques also comes under the first volume. In our second volume, in our second volume, we have only C++ programming. Means C++ program. C++ is the part high level programming language. It is a Woods concept is the object oriented programming language. And also it is a structure oriented also. So it is a hybrid one. And then we have to basically we have to know that C++ programming because of it. For your further studies, if you are going to engineering or BSc computer science or BCA or whatever it may be, that C++ is the basic concept of programming language. When we know about C++, you are eligible for writing a programming. You can be a program developer. Okay, so C++ is the basic one. When we know the C++, you are the qualifier of a Program developer because of we can know the structure of a program, how to write a program, and what is the structure, what are the basic things we can, everything can be considered that particular C. Okay. For another paper, computer application is there. Computer application in the R school. That means accountancy, commerce is there. Except that the max is not coming now. So accountancy, commerce, computer application will be there. For that application group, we have the same five lessons. Parts of computers, introduction to computers, early history of computers, operating system, Windows, Linux. After that, we are having like MS Office, we have now in the same manner, we are having open office. Like MS Office, we are having open office. That means the office automation tool we can. Understand the office automation. Over that in that uh, second volume they have HTML. Second volume they have HTML and Java scripting language. So that application 
கம்ப்யூட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன் இது பேஸ் இருக்கு டெவலப்பிங் வெப் பேजेस வெப் ஓரியண்டட் ஸ்கிரிப்டிங் லாங்குவேஜ் பி இன் आवर கரெக்ட்லாம் சோ வாட் இஸ் தி क्वेश्चन பேட்டர்ன் சார் ஃபார் आवर பப்ளிக் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஃபார் आवर பப்ளிக் எக்ஸாம் யூ ஆர் गोइंग टू ரைட் அ தே ரிப்போர்ட் ஆஃப் only for some months only for some months there is also 15 choose the best answer questions 15 one more question that is also choose the best answer second thing is 6 to months how does 9 questions only is compulsory totally we have 9 questions in that we have to choose only 6 after that Six three more questions. Then five five marks we have. That is either of type either of three marks. What is the number either of the three? Yeah. Part A question is there, or part B question is we have to attend like that manner. So that totally we have something marks. So totally hundred marks we need. Only seventy is here. Ten is twenty marks. This comes under the internal and external examination. That means practicals. And I think practical examination. In the practical examination, we are having ten C plus plus program here. Here means it comes to open office and then Java scripting language will be there. Ten lab exercises are there. We have to produce the record, and we have to submit the assignment based on that performance. Practical examination was conducted. After that, we will put the mark for the category marks. Okay. So now we are having a what is computer? Why we have to choose the computer? What are the advantages of computers? Taking computers and in about the eleventh standard, what is our goal? And what are the lessons we have? Okay, what is our question pattern, and how it will be classified? I think is well clear. I think so. Okay, so next video onwards we are going directly going to that particular lessons, and we will go to the topics generation of uh, computers. Next video we will discuss about generation. What are the generations we have? What is the early history of computers? How the computers have comes to this level, this advanced level? And what are the input device, output device, what are the processors are available? So we are going to in future classes we are going to discuss about that these topics. Okay, thank you, children.